In this demo, I have a large tank of water uh, with a laser and showing diffraction as laser enters the water. Uh, laser is not that visible in the water itself. I can see it in the bottom here. Uh, to make the laser more visible, I'm going to add a few drops of milk into the system here. Just swirl around. So the milk acts as a little scatterer, making it more obvious. So I'm relating this to the theory. So an incident beam is coming down and refracting into water. We're from air to water here. And this is now visible. You can easily see the uh, refracted beam as light is coming down into the tank itself. I can also show uh, the light reflecting off the surface of the tank. So there's this beam. So a little shaky there. That's coming from the surface of the tank. And this is the beam that's hitting the surface of the water on this here. So uh, the light is refracting into the water and dispersing out the bottom here. In this demo, I'm going to show a little bit of refraction in water. I have here a laser, and I've added an optical element at the end of this to disperse the light in a vertical direction. Uh, if I shine the laser, then you can actually see it traverse along the uh, paper here. This is the beam first in the vertical. So here I have a Petri dish. I'm just going to add a little water to this here. And what becomes apparent when you shine a laser into the water is that you still can't see the beam in the water itself. I can see the beam on the, on the paper, but once it's in the water, it's very hard to dis distinguish the beam. So I'm just going to add a little bit of uh, dispersing agent, which is just a drop of milk into the water. And that makes the beam now quite bit visible on this here. So with this, um, you can see I have the incident beam, reflected beam, and then refracted beam going into the water. One always looks at just one surface for what's going on in terms of refraction. And as I increase the incident beam, this is the angle away from the normal, you see that the refracted beam also becomes fracted uh, away from the normal. So uh, we now have the incident beam, refracted beam, and the reflected beam as I'm increasing the angle to the normal itself. In this video, I thought I'd show uh, some refraction in uh, smoked plastic. This plastic block is actually designed so it has a smoked interior, it's not visible, that'll show up a laser. So here I have a red laser and you can actually see the beam inside the uh, plastic block. I'm going to use my uh, green laser here and has a little lens on the end of it, makes it obvious where the beam is. And if I lay down the plastic and then shine the beam through, it becomes very easy to see where the beam is. So uh, you see the incident beam, refracted, and a reflected beam.